Just because there are checks in the checkbook doesn't mean there's money in the bank. I know that sounds so silly, but do you really think that that's a joke? Because it's not. A lot of people actually think that because they have checks in their checkbook, they have money in their bank. That's how broken people's mindsets are when it comes to money. When it comes to building wealth, however, budgeting is everything. So let's dive in. So in this video, what I want to teach you is how you can be your own fortune teller and fortune maker by simply having a solid budget. It's literally everything. It's the backbone of your financial life, but yet most people ignore it. Most people, ain't nobody got time for that. Yep, you know who those people are? Those are the people that say, just because there's checks in the checkbook, that must mean I got money in the bank. I got news for you. Just because there's checks in the checkbook does not mean there's money in the bank. Wake up and do a budget because you can see where you are headed before something bad or something good happens to you. That's what a budget's going to allow you to do. It's going to put it all in order so you know how much income you have and how much money is going out and how much is left for those next opportunities. The other thing a budget will do is allow you to start figuring out how much money do you have for one of those unforeseen expenses. So let's make the adjustments. Let's make the adjustments to your financial life. Budgeting is important. Now, are you doing it? So here's a fact for you. Budgeting is very important when it comes to your financial planning because if you don't have goals, you can't tell if you're doing better or not. And not only that, if you do have goals, how are you going to hit them if you don't know where your money goes today? So the data that you're going to find in a budget will show you exactly where you're at. And it'll show you exactly where your inefficiencies are too. You know, let's just dive in. Let me just talk about a budget. It's quite simple. Grab a piece of paper and a pen or a pencil, it doesn't matter. And on the left side, all I want you to do is draw a T chart, okay? One line across and one line down in the middle. T chart. On the left side, what I want you to do is I want you to write, and this is all going to be monthly. I want you to write all your monthly incomes. So you got your W 2 income, you got your side hustle income, you got maybe whatever, alimony or some other incomes, all your incomes. I want you to write them all down, but I want you to, and if you only know them annually or you only know them weekly, then just do the math, you know, times four, times 12, divide by 12, whatever you want to do. Figure out what it is monthly, every income. And then what I want you to do is I want you to tally those up. So add up all your incomes. I hope you have more than one. Okay. And then how much is that? Great. Now we've got the left side of the column done. We know exactly what your income is. Let's go to the right side of that T chart. On the top, what I want you to do is I want, I want you to write all those expenses, the expenses that you have every month. How much is your mortgage? How much are your taxes? How much are your gas and your electric bill, your utility bills? How much do you spend every month or how much do you budget every month for groceries? How much for entertainment? How much for clothing? All the things that every month you spend money on. I want you to put a dollar amount. And if you don't know how much it is, well, that shows that you've never done a budget. I want you to guess, but I want you to guess high. So tally all those up, okay? All your expenses, don't leave anything out. I don't care if you get a massage every month, chiropractic every month, visits to the dentist. I want you to figure all those out. And if it's not an every month thing, you're like once a quarter, or twice a year, you go to the dentist and it costs you a hundred bucks. I want you to just figure out the annual and then divide it by 12. Got it? This is going to take you the most amount of time right here. So I'll wait. You almost there? Okay. You got it, right? Perfect. So now what I want you to do is add all those up. So once you add all the expenses, I want you to put that dollar amount underneath there. Now, hopefully that doesn't exceed the amount of income. Oh, good. It doesn't. Perfect. Because the next thing we're going to do is underneath your expenses, I want you to do all your debts. Okay. So I want you to figure out your debts, but here I want you to go a step further. I want you to write down the debt. Car loan number one. I want you to write the balance that's on that debt. Okay. And then I want you to write the interest rate that you're paying on that debt. So car loan number one, balance $12,000, interest rate 3%, payment $280 a month. Okay. Got it. So I want you to do that for all your debts and I want you to organize them. Now, hold on, because I know you're already starting. Grab a pencil and erase that. I want you to do them for the lowest balance 
to the highest balance. So for most people, it would be like small credit cards, and then maybe bigger credit cards, then maybe a line of credit, a home equity line, a car payment, car payment number two, and then usually the bottom of that is gonna be your mortgage. But remember, I want you to write the debt, then I want you to put the balance, then I want you to put the interest rate. If you don't know it, just go online and look it up. And then I want you to put your monthly payment, okay? And now what I want you to do is I want you to add up the monthly payments and write that below. And I want you to add up the balance and write that below. But now we're gonna do something super fun. Now pay attention. I want you to add up all of those interest rates, okay? So add them all up, whatever the interest rate was that you're paying on all those debts. I want to add them all up. Then I want you to count how many debts you had in total. And I want you to divide the total number of debts into the total amount of interest that you're paying. So remember, you added up the interest rate for all those debts. Divide that by the total number of those debts. What that's going to give you is an average interest rate that you're paying on all your debts. Okay, so now you're done because that number should wake you up. How much interest are you giving away every single month? So when you added that up, did you have an aha moment? Okay, well, let's, let's have one more aha moment. So we know what our income is on the left column. We know what our expenses total monthly is. Now I want you to add up all the monthly expense or the, the monthly payments on all those debts. And I want that there. At the very bottom of that right T-chart, which might be pretty long, you might have even needed two pieces of paper, maybe even three. God, I hope nobody on here needs four. I want you to add the total monthly payments of the debts plus the total expenses and put that at the bottom. Now, here's the moment of truth. That dollar amount on that right column, is it? more or less than the dollar comment or the amount of your income on the left column. Hopefully it's less. And if it is less, what I want you to do is I want you to take the amount on the right, the total, and I want you to subtract it from the amount on the left. That amount is your disposable income that you can use to get ahead. So hopefully that right there put things into perspective. Now, some of you just had a bad aha moment. You're like, holy crap, no wonder it feels like we're broke. We are. We're spending $2,000 more every month than we are making, which means you probably are racking up more and more debt. Now, listen, I got some bad news for you. You are not the United States of America where they can just practice modern monetary theory, rack up a bunch of debt and just say, oh, it's okay. It's not okay for you. What you're doing now is going to completely crash your family's financial future. Now, that's for some of you. Some of you looked at it and you said, wow, okay. The amount of income I have is, you know, is more than the amount of debt and expenses that I have, but not by much. That's okay. Whatever that dollar amount is, all we got to do is we got to make that money work smarter for you and harder for you. And some of you look at it and you're like, wow, I'm doing pretty darn good. I, but then you're saying to yourself, I don't even know where all this money goes. Great. Let's make sure we put some per put some processes and procedures in place so that you do know where that money's going. So you're going to be one of those three. You had an aha moment where you're like, oh shit, okay? Or you had, a, had an aha moment and you're like, well, all right, I'm barely making it. That's okay. Or you had an aha moment where you're like, well, I'm doing pretty good, but you probably then followed that up by saying, where the heck does all this money go? That's where we start this equation. You see, this data will show you exactly where you are. And it's gonna also show you where you can be in the future because all those amounts you added up on those debts, remember the average percentage interest that you're paying, imagine if all that money moved over to the left side and it was an income side. That's our goal. We need to transfer all the wealth that you're giving away on those debts, okay, those debt payments. And we need to transfer that over. We, may need, we need to make your liabilities assets and that's going to take time, but that time is now and it can't be done until you have this budget complete. So we're going to stop this video right here because I want you to literally take just what I've taught you and I want you to actually do it. Stop everything you're doing because to be quite honest, there's not many other things that are more important than this right now. Create that budget. Spend the time. Sit down after you create this. Sit down with your significant other and run them through this. Sit down with whoever it is, your financial advisor, your CPA, and run this by them. This is important because this is where the rubber meets the road. This is where you get started. Folks, I hope this was helpful and I hope you take action on this because you know what? Knowledge is useless without taking action on it. So get the action done and do your budget now. If you liked this video, then you will love this next one I did, how to save 10% of your money. So check that video out after you finish the budget and while you're at it, 
subscribe to this channel, click the like button for this video because I just taught you something very important, and also smash that alerts button up at the top so that you're notified every time we put a new video. Now is the time where you take action. Go do this now. We'll see you soon.